Hi, this video is to explain about the tools used in recombinant DNA technology. Specifically, I will explain about the first two tools, the gene of interest and the restriction enzyme. There are five tools used in recombinant DNA technology. The first one is target DNA, restriction enzyme, DNA cloning vector, host cell, and modifying enzyme. The target DNA is a fragment of DNA that contains the gene of interest. So the, the gene of interest will be used to clone. This is what we want, the gene that we want, the gene of interest. Eh? So. While restriction enzyme is an enzyme that can cleave. Cleave is also, uh, um, another word for cleave is cut. So this enzyme will cut the molecules of DNA at a restriction site. Restriction site is actually a sequence of nucleotide bases, sequence of nucleotides. On the DNA. Restriction enzyme also known as restriction endonucleus. And these enzymes produced by bacteria. We eukaryote, we do not have restriction enzyme. So we need to extract this enzyme from bacteria. Restriction enzyme is uh, analogically, analogically referred to as the cutter, a scissors. So they cut the DNA. We have the long or large structure molecules of DNA. But we want only a few parts uh, that have the gene of interest. But restriction enzyme do not know uh, what which one is our gene of interest. But they will recognize the sequence of restriction site that they can cut. Okay. So whenever they read the DNA from here to here, Whenever they find the sequence that they um, identify as restriction site, they will cut at that site. So it will produce a smaller size or smaller um, fragments of DNA. Restriction enzyme uh, recognize a palindromic sequence. Um, a palindromic means it will be read similar either from dif uh, different different uh, from different direction let's look at the sequence um, because our DNA is anti-parallel okay anti-parallel read, read from one strand 5 to 3 5 prime to 3 prime end it was read as GAA TTC okay, because uh, DNA is poly, um, double stranded um, double helix so they have their pair each basis have their pair so whenever uh, whenever we read from the opposite sides of the um, of the sequence or of the DNA the pair is read similar to the um, the original original sequence that we read from the uh, previous sequence okay the opposite Bukannya kita, it's not that we uh, read from here, uh, left to right, or uh, right to left of the same, of the same strand, but on the different strand, on the pair strand. So, uh, GAA, TTC, then we read from here, GAA, TTC. This is called as palindromic. The pair, the pairing of sequ uh, sequence is called palindromic sequence. Another terms use uh, another another use of palindromic is almost similar when we have uh, a word that can be read backward or forward as the same same word. For example, a radar, we read it backward. It's also read as radar. Race car, yeah, race car. What does restriction enzyme do? They recognize and then cut. 
So we cannot just say restriction enzyme cut. We have to include the word recognize because for them to be able to cut the sequence, they have uh, or cut the DNA, they will have to recognize first. Because a specific restriction enzyme will only recognize a specific sequence. There are so many restriction enzyme. Um, so different restriction enzyme will recognize and then cut at a specific restriction site. How do they cut the DNA by breaking the phosphor the ester bond? And some of the restriction enzyme able to cut at all, uh, or break the hydrogen bond between between bases. So if um, that restriction enzyme can cut both phosphor the ester bond and hydro hydrogen bond, it will produce sticky ends. Okay, sticky end. Um, if that restriction enzyme uh, cut only phosphor the ester bond, it will produce blunt end. And their ability to cut DNA is any DNA, either on the foreign DNA or uh, to cut open the plasmid. How to cut the strands? If it is cut staggered way, meaning first a phosphodiester and then cut at the hydrogen bond and then cut at phosphodiester bond again, it will produce sticky end. Sticky end is this, the part, the sequence that has no pair. So this is the sticky end. If it cuts straight away phosphodiester bond, it will produce blunt end. And see, the sequence that is palindromic is GAATTC. So the restriction enzyme uh, will cut the phosphodiester bond here and then cut at the hydrogen bond and again another phosphodiester bond. So this is the sticky end. You have to memorize at least two of the restriction enzyme. One produce uh, sticky end is eco R1. Whenever we write a hand, uh, uh, hand, if it is handwritten, it should be underlined. Okay, and then this is a Roman number, eh? not not this one. Do not use this one. It is eco R1 Roman. Eco R1 is an enzyme extracted from E. coli, and the specific sequence restriction sequence that they can identify in cut is GAA TTC. So please memorize this. Another restriction enzyme is small one uh, extracted from Serrana mercescens. It produces blunt ends. So the sequence CCC GGG. Okay, blunt end. Why restriction enzyme uh, is important to bacteria? Because um, restriction enzyme for bacteria is like a defense mechanism. They don't have a bacteria, they don't have antibody, they are very small um, cells. So they need something that can defend them from inside of their cell. They have capsule that is a physical defense to prevent from uh, intruder intrusion. But some bacteria are able to uh, penetrate the capsule, the cell membrane and the cell wall and then inject their DNA. For example, a prokaryote and then a, a bacteria and then we have the bacteriophage and then this DNA will be injected into the into the prokaryote into the bacteria so the enzyme the restriction enzyme in the in the bacteria cell will um, try to degrade the DNA of the virus by cutting them down into small pieces. So when, I, when they uh, were cut into small pieces, the DNA will not be able to be replicated and um, the cell, is, the, the bacteria cell will be safe. Because virus, they cannot replicate themselves, 
they need a host to um, replicate the DNA and then produce protein dia tumpang sel untuk hasilkan protein lepas tu barulah dia hasilkan uh, virus yang baru help by with the help of the host the bacteria after the virus the new virus is being produced the cell will, the host cell will definitely uh, obsolete uh, demolish ataupun destructed so restriction enzyme is a very important enzyme that helps to prevent or defend the cell uh, defend the bacteria against virus it will prevent the replication of DNA viral sticky end is a um, a, a fragment that has one single at least one single stranded end or staggered cut sometimes you can see okay so this one has two staggered cut eh? two staggered uh, two single stranded ni single ni single uh, which means it is an unpaired basis if it is combined with another sticky end then it will form hydrogen bond between the bases and it must be combined with the same this other uh, sticky ends produced by the same restriction enzyme because uh, the pair needs to be paired with the same uh, the similar pair if it is a here when they need the uh, pair with t the the fragment with t to pair the with the a Blood end is a fragment of DNA which there are no unpaired bases or overhang in the cell. No single strand DNA on the fragment. So both strands are of the same length. 